Jack Percanti here, hanging out in my hitting station in my basement. For serious players, setting aside an area to work things out is crucial. When players have hitting problems, the solution is often a trial and error process. It is never as easy as just saying, hey, just do this. Each day for seven days, I will suggest a hitting drill to try to solve one of the hitting issues your son or daughter may be having. Each drill will help a hitting fundamental, and before long, players will hit upon a solution. I will show these drills on a batting tee, but most of them can be done with flip balls or in batting practice. Thanks for tuning in. It is very frustrating to see your son or daughter hit nothing but ground balls. In order to work on this, I usually have my hitters start on a low batting tee, when they're able to start driving the ball on this low pitch, you'll start to see them drive the ball on many higher pitches. Uh, ground balls come from hitting, of course, the top of the ball. And this is usually caused by a few reasons. The first reason would come from the casting of the bat, okay, where we tend to send the bat out away from the body, creating that downward action at contact. and creating the ground ball. The, the second action that could cr create a, down, a ground ball would be a posture change. So as the hitter is swinging, their body raises up and they hit the top of the ball. Uh, that could happen with their legs straightening out or losing posture with the upper body as they pull away. And this usually would cause a rolling of the wrist early. Uh, the last uh, possibility is just slow or locked hips. So when your son or daughter gets a little closed up and their hips cannot square up at contact in the proper manner, then this would also create the hidden, the top of the baseball. So what we want to do is find drills that prevent these actions from happening. You may be able to find out if this is a hip turn issue or a casting issue in this manner. We can have our players turn with their hips open before rolling the bat back and then swing. If they can't hit line drives in this manner, then they may be casting the bat out because the hips are already open. Today's drill will help us with the casting problem and the slow hips. Our hitters simply grab a glove, put it underneath their rear arm, and start to work on that low pitch. All right? In order to get the sweet spot of the bat to the ball, their hips will have to unload. The glove should not fall out until after contact so that we're not casting. The glove would fall out quicker. and we'll start hitting the inside back of the ball in order to get the ball in the air. It should look something like this.